If you've ever wanted to look like one of the kawaii girls on Pinterest, then you're in the right place. Hey there, I'm Daniela, and today I'm going to go over all of the essentials for getting into the kawaii aesthetic. From clothes to accessories, I've got you covered. Now, let's get into the video so I can give you some tips and ideas on how to look kawaii. First, let's talk about some of the different types of clothing that you can wear when it comes to kawaii fashion. Starting off with tops, the ones that I most commonly see being used in kawaii fashion are camisoles, tank tops, graphic tees, and crop tops. Kawaii fashion tends to be more form-fitting, but I also see people playing around with it and even wearing more oversized tops like graphic tees and oversized jackets. Speaking of jackets, you do see a lot of those in the fashion. You can also see a lot of cardigans and even boleros being worn as well. Here's some examples of kawaii tops from my own closet. As you can see, I love wearing the color pink and I love wearing stuff that has either lace or polka dots on it. Getting into bottoms, I would say with kawaii fashion, bottoms tend to be not very long and on the shorter side. Like mini skirts and mini shorts are probably the most popular type of bottoms that you see in this style. With skirts, pleated skirts and ruffle skirts are the most popular types to wear as they're super cutesy. You'll also see tutus and tulle skirts as well. Other types of bottoms and two-piece sets that I see a lot are bloomers, wide leg shorts, skirtalls, shortalls, overalls, dresses, and safe bukus. Here's some bottoms from my closet that I like to use a lot when dressing kawaii. You can honestly go more fancy or more simple with bottoms. I personally prefer wearing skirts, shorts, and bloomers. Now let's get into one of my favorite sections, which is shoes. There are so many cute options when it comes to finding shoes to match kawaii clothing. I would say that shoes is one of the more easier things to find when it comes to the kawaii style, since there's a variety of shoe styles that work well with kawaii fashion. First up is shoes I'd like to mention are uwabaki or Japanese indoor shoes. I see these being used a lot in the style, and you can wear shoes like this even outside since the bottoms tend to be pretty durable. Along with uwabaki, I also see people using slippers if they like taking cute indoor outfit pics. I have Mapu slippers and I also have my Melody slippers and they're both my prized possessions because they're so cute. Another type of shoe you'll see a lot in kawaii fashion is crocs and platform crocs. Crocs are so cute since you can customize them by adding little charms to them. I also have these My Melody crocs which are my favorite. They're just so cute and I love the pastel color of pink that they are. Uggs, moon boots, and other types of big chunky boots are also popular within kawaii fashion. As you see these types of boots a lot when scrolling on Pinterest. Sneakers are also another great option that are available in a variety of styles. I see a lot of high top, low top, chunky, and platform sneakers being used in kawaii fashion. Platforms and Mary Janes are also some great options if you like chunky shoes that give you some height. You can also find really cute platforms pretty easily online. I rarely hear anyone mentioning these, but jelly shoes work so well with kawaii fashion, especially if you pair them with a cute pair of socks, like they're so adorable. And finally, if you want to be a bit fancier with your look, you can also look into Lolita shoes. I have a few pairs of Lolita shoes, and they work so well with kawaii fashion fashion. Now let's get into kawaii accessories. I would say that accessories are the most important part of making a kawaii outfit because they really help to complete the cute look. It's like adding sprinkles and frosting onto cake. Like it makes the cake look so much better, you know? Starting with arm accessories, the most commonly seen arm accessories in kawaii fashion is either arm warmers or candy bracelets. Arm warmers are pretty easy to find and they're usually not too expensive. Hot Topic has a ton of cute arm warmers to choose from and so does AliExpress. Candy bracelets are also super easy to find on places like Etsy and D. Pop. They're also a really good option if you'd prefer to save money by DIYing your accessories. An underrated accessory option for your arm is watches. Watches come in so many colors, and also it's super easy to find watches that have cute characters on them. The last arm accessory that I can think of that would work well with kawaii fashion are those workout armbands. Like watches, you can also find armbands in cute colors and with characters on them like Hello Kitty. For hands and fingers, you can use rings band-aids, and stickers to make your hands look more kawaii. Rings are another thing that are also cheap to buy or very easy to DIY. These are some rings that I've made myself to use with kawaii fashion. As you can see, I really love things that are sweet themed, so I made a lot of rings that had candy or some sort of pastry on them. Now let's get into kawaii leg accessories. You usually see socks at three different lengths with kawaii fashion, thigh highs, knee highs, and your standard crew length. You can try looking for socks that have ruffles, 
lace, bows, or cute patterns so that you can add extra cuteness to your outfits. You can also find patterned stockings or leggings for the same effect. Leg warmers are also very popular to wear with kawaii fashion. Another thing that you can use that's not socks or stockings are leg garters. These are pretty cheap and you can find so many different cute ones. And the final thing that I could think of is adding belt chains to your outfits. You can find pastel colored ones from stores like Hot Topic or Claire's. And here's some cute legwear examples from my own closet. Now let's talk about bags. With kawaii fashion, there are tons of different types of bags that you can use. You could look for cute tote bags, purses, messenger bags, and backpacks. You want to look out for stuff that has cute characters on it, uses pastel colors, or is a combo of both. For an example, I have this adorable backpack right here that was gifted to me by Blippo, and it's the perfect combo of pastel colors and a little kawaii character. This is a perfect backpack if you're someone who's in school and you have to carry a lot of textbooks and other school supplies around. But here's some pastel kawaii outfit inspo that you could wear to school. Other bags that I see a lot when it comes to kawaii fashion are randuseru bags and ita bags. Randuseros you can find brand new by buying directly from Japan, or sometimes you can even find them secondhand. I've also seen them being sold on Amazon, so you can check on there as well. Ita bags are a really great choice if you love to decorate your bags because you can add pins, buttons, plushies, and keychains on them. Lastly, you can also use character coin bags and plushie slash teddy bear bags. These bags are more of a cute accessory than a bag that's actually functional, but they make an outfit look super cute. And finally, here are some extra random accessories that I could think of that work great in kawaii fashion. Obviously, earrings and necklaces are a must when it comes to kawaii fashion. I usually see people have candy styled ones or ones with kawaii characters that they like. You can also wear bow ties if you want to go for more of a schoolgirl vibe and pair it with a cardigan. Scarves are another cute option to wear on your neck and are useful if where you live is cold. Some small accessories that can really make an outfit look super cute are keychains, plush straps, buttons, and pins. You can kind of scatter them throughout your outfit by adding them to shorts, bags, and even leg warmers to add a little extra cuteness. For hair, I see a lot of hair clips, hair ties, scrunchies, animal ears, hair bows, and headbands being used. Also fluffy hats, beanies, and earmuffs are other cute head accessories if you're living in a colder climate. Now that I've given you a lot of info on different types of clothing and accessories that go well with kawaii fashion, let me give you some keywords to make it easier for you to actually find exactly what you want. So yeah, let's get into keywords that you can add when it comes to searching for clothes and accessories. And here are some character keywords if you need help with searching for kawaii characters. Now that I've talked about different types of clothing and accessories that you can use for kawaii fashion, let me talk about some places that you can shop at when it comes to looking for kawaii items. I've divided these shops into three sections depending on how much you want to spend, since I know that everyone's budget is a bit different. But yeah, let's get into it. If you're willing to spend $40 and under for some kawaii pieces, I recommend going to Dollar Tree if you're in the US, or local dollar stores near you if you're living in another country. You can find stuff like cute socks and hair clips at stores like that, so I always like to check those types of stores. You can also try local party stores and local beauty supply shops for accessories. I found some really cute stuff when I go to local shops and it's usually pretty affordable. If you're in a country that has thrift shops, then I definitely recommend you check them out regularly to look for cute clothes and accessories. Also, try flea markets as well because I feel like they're very underrated when it comes to finding cute stuff. If you're in the US, you can also shop on these three online secondhand stores, which are Mercari, ThreadUp, and Poshmark. Vinted is another great option if you're in the US or Europe and want to find cute secondhand clothes and accessories. Ever since I moved to Italy, I've been finding cute things non-stop, like it's an actual addiction. Two places that are great if you want to find adorable accessories are AliExpress and Amazon. You can find really cute accessories on AliExpress and sometimes even cute clothes. The final store that I want to mention is YesStyle. You can find a lot of cute clothes on there for really affordable prices and they also ship internationally. Now let's get into shops that I recommend if you're looking to spend 100 and under. First place that I'd like to mention is Hot Topic. I feel like Hot Topic is severely underrated when it comes to their kawaii stuff because oh my god, they have the cutest stuff ever. Not only do they have a ton of great pieces for kawaii fashion, but they're also plus size friendly. Next store I'd like to mention 
mention is Claire's. Claire's has a wide variety of different accessories that are super kawaii. They're also a great place to shop for pastel accessories. eBay is another secondhand site that I feel is severely underrated. Like I have found so many cute things on there in the past, I definitely recommend you check it out. Forever 21 is the next place I'm going to mention since they actually have done a lot of Hello Kitty collabs in the past. You can actually find a decent amount of kawaii clothes and accessories on their online store. The last three stores that I want to mention are Sanrio.com, Dreamy Bows, and Box Lunch. These stores have a lot of kawaii stuff, so you can easily find a lot of different clothes and accessories from these online stores. And finally, if your budget is 200 and under, these are the shops that I recommend. If you're looking for cute and good quality footwear and bags, then I highly recommend you check out Cotton Candy Feet. Etsy is another place that I recommend checking out. You can find so many kawaii clothes and accessories on there. If you love big platform shoes, then I recommend checking out Why Are You? Their shoes can be a bit expensive, but you can also wait for them to do sales and get a good discount on the shoes that you want. Taobao, Shanyu, and Mercari Japan are great places to shop if you want to buy directly from China and Japan. I've honestly found my best things when shopping from these sites, so I definitely recommend you search these ones up. The last few places that I can think of are My Violet, Sugar Thrills, and Holly Tea Time. You're guaranteed to find a lot of adorable kawaii clothing and accessories from these places. These stores in particular are great if you're looking for plus size friendly options as well. And yeah, there you have it. I hope now you can dress as kawaii as you want now that you have all of this info. Flippo was very kind to also include a giveaway for you guys to win the backpack that I showed. If you'd like to win the backpack for free, then all you need to do are two things. One, Tell me in the comments below who's your favorite kawaii character. And two, click on the link that'll be in the description box below so that you're officially entered into the giveaway. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I truly appreciate it if you've watched this whole video. I love, love, love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!